In this concept, you study about cyclic process and heat engines. Cyclic process. A cyclic process in which the system, after passing through various stages of pressure, volume and temperature, changes and returns to its initial state. A cyclic process consists of a series of changes which return the system back to its initial state. For example, a system consists of a gas at a pressure P, volume V and temperature T. Let the system be subjected to a number of changes including isothermal and adiabatic expansion and compressions. In the final state, if the system has the same pressure P, same volume V and the same temperature T, the succession of changes involved are set to form a cyclic process. Heat engines. A heat engine is a device which converts heat energy into mechanical energy. For this, a system is made to undergo a cyclic process. A heat engine essentially consists of three parts. 1. Source of heat at higher temperature. 2. Working substance. 3. Sink of heat at lower temperature. The work done by the working substance of the system in a cycle is transferred to the environment via some arrangement. For example, when the working substance is in a cylinder with moving piston, the piston transfers mechanical energy to the wheel of a vehicle via a shaft. The cycle is repeated again and again to obtain the desired useful work for some purpose. If Q1 is the amount of heat absorbed by the working substance from the source at T1K in one complete cycle, Q2 is the amount of heat rejected to the sink at T2K in the cycle and W is the net amount of work done by the working substance on the environment in a cycle. Net amount of heat absorbed dQ is equal to Q1 minus Q2. As the working substance returns to its initial state, the change in its internal energy is zero, that is, dU is equal to zero. According to first law of thermodynamics, dQ is equal to dU plus dW. dQ is equal to dW, that is, net amount of heat absorbed is equal to external work done by the engine. Q1 minus Q2 is equal to W. Thermal efficiency of a heat engine is defined as the ratio of net work done per cycle by the engine to the total amount of heat absorbed per cycle by the working substance from the source. It is denoted by eta. Eta is equal to net work done per cycle W by total amount of heat absorbed per cycle Q1. Eta is equal to Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. Eta is equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. As some heat is always rejected to the sink, Q2 is equal to 0. Therefore, efficiency is always less than 1. That is, thermal efficiency of a heat engine is always less than 1. For Q2 is equal to 0, eta is equal to 1, is equal to 100%. That is, the heat engine will have 100% efficiency in converting heat into work. Thus, first law of thermodynamics does not rule out a heat engine with 100% efficiency. However, practical experience shows that efficiency is less than 100% even sorts of losses associated with actual heat engine. Types of heat engines 1. External combustion engine in which heat is produced by burning the fuel in a chamber outside the main body. Steam engine is external combustion heat engine. 2. Internal combustion engine in which heat is produced by burning fuel inside the main body of the engine. Petrol engines and diesel engines are internal combustion engines. They are also called four-stroke engines. 
theoretical value of thermal efficiency of internal combustion engine is about 52%.